It's time now to go inside the Roadshow inbox where you, the viewer, can submit a question or photos to the Roadshow. And as we all know, Labor Day is the unofficial end of summer and fall weather and sweaters will soon follow. This week we wanted to know what you're planning to do before the summer ends and the leaves begin to fall. And our Facebook friends have some fun and exciting things planned. Kathy Peterson says, two of my best friends and myself go to stay at our cabin in the Adirondacks and go to the Adirondack Balloon Festival in Lake George. And Dan and Ivanov says from Cranston writes, I'm going to finish my summer by starting college as a freshman at Northeastern University as a bio and pre-med major. And Bob Morris will be heading to the Cape for an end of the summer cookout bash with wiffle ball, bocce, grilling, campfires, and of course, jumping in the hot tub. And it seems as though everyone is taking advantage of those last beach days and hot, hot weather. I asked Lily, Patrick, and Ben what they would like to do. Almost every weekend when I'm when I'm in town, my neighbors and friends come over. We have like a big bonfire. We make s'mores, and I just love hanging on to that because everybody kind of sits around and has a good time. So um, I like to get it, that in for as long as possible, even into when it starts to get a little colder. Uh, still some time to squeeze in some uh, beach fun in the sun, although hockey practice has already started for my son and we're into the fall soccer season as well. But uh, one thing that I definitely want to get done before the summer ends is some fishing some golfing. I definitely want to try to go camping uh, one more time before the end of the year. Uh, this is usually a good time too because there's not many people at the sites and there's a lake down in um, Charlestown that I kind of want to get to one more time but I think I probably missed my chance unless I uh, sneak away this week while the temperature is still in the 80s. And thanks to Ben for doing that. He looked like he just rolled out of bed there. And here's a photo of one of our faithful bloggers, Joseph Butero, enjoying some of the last days of summer on a boat. Joe's having a grand old time on the water in Boston with some friends. What a beautiful night view. And the Roadshow t-shirt has traveled again, this time by boat down to the Bahamas with our very own Ben Haig. Ben took this picture while vacationing at the Atlantis Resort. Looks incredible, Ben. And thank you to everyone for sharing your ideas and pictures with us. You can always reach out to us at the Roadshow at foxprovidence.com. Back over to you.